Alright, what's up? So today, this video is going to be on side control and rubber guard. The best way to get out of both of them. I see a lot of people struggling to get out of these positions just due to the transition speed being so low with the way they go for it. So I see a lot of people just going for the transitions with no grapple advantage. And it makes it so much tougher to go out. So I'm going to do it, what everyone else does or what everyone else I see does. So I'm going to go for a transition here and see if Silic can do it. As you can see, that transition was super slow and he was able to deny it quite easily. I'm going to go for another one here and see if he can deny this again. And he was able to get it again. So, that's going to be side control. Now I'm going to show you how to actually get out of it. So, as soon as somebody gets in, you in side control, you want to just keep punching. And then as soon as he punches, you want to transition. He's going to get back into side control here. As soon as he gets into side control, you want to punch and then transition as soon as he... Uh, once you punch maybe three times and he also hits like this, boom. See how much faster that was? He could not deny that. So I'm going to show you one more time and I'm going to explain just how we do it. So as you can see, you're on the bottom. And as soon as he gets into side control, you want to punch. I'd say punch maybe three times and then your grapple advantage will go up from punching. And as soon as he punches, then it'll be even your grapple advantage will be probably at the max and the transition will be just 10 times faster and you'll probably have to breathe more. So look at this, we'll do it again. Bang, bang, bang. See, he couldn't deny that again. So that's just side control. I'll explain it one last time and then we'll do uh, rubber guard in this next round here. But So as soon as somebody gets you down into side control, you just want to punch, punch, punch. I'd say three times, and then as soon as they elbow or knee, just go for a transition straight away. And it'll be ten times faster, and they'll be led to just having the pre deny. Another useful thing is basically um, just having to be unpredictable with it. Because if, they, if you're using this tactic, but you're only going for like one transition, they can pre deny it. So you really want to be unpredictable with it. Here I'll get them down to rubber guard, and I'll explain the best way to get out of rubber guard. If you... There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna go and attempt to try and get out a rubber guard. Just no, no, like, just basic, basically. No setup or anything. See if he can deny it. Alright, there, see, a very, another really slow transition, and he can do so much damage from here. He can elbow, he can, you know, he can do the elbows to the body, he can do the elbows to the head, and he can transition off into even more transitions. So basically, I'm gonna show you what you want to do here is if you can see the leg he has over my arm. It is my left arm, but right, if you see here, it's my right arm if you're looking from, uh, obviously, this camera angle. So that leg he has over, you can fake with it. You can fake, you can fake, and you can fake. You can't fake with the other transition. So with the arm you have free, you don't want to fake at all. You can't just do that fake. So with the arm he has... Uh, with his leg over your arm that's the leg you can transition fake with so a transition fake is basically just flicking the analog stick to that transit uh, to that direction and then just basically pressing RT to stop it so I'll get him down here again and we'll explain the best way to get out of it here we go I'll get him down here again and I'll explain the best way how to escape it so it'll be a lot harder to deny so basically you want to like as with the last one it's basically waiting for them to strike and you can easily still deny even if they strike in this position so what you want to do is fake this maybe once twice take a couple elbows you know maybe once or twice and then boom that is so much faster and just so much harder to deny in general and another good mix up is basically faking faking you know waiting him to punch faking again and then going for the other one you can't obviously fake the other one, but if you want to go for it, you can, and they won't be able to, and they'll be predicting the other one probably because they'll think, oh, he's either doing a fake so I can pre deny the fake, or I can just get it because they might just be going for that transition. So you really want to mix up left to right, left to right, which one you're actually going for, but you always know you can only fake with that arm he has the leg over. So the basis of this is really like side control and rubber guard in both. Uh, positions you really just want to wait for your opponent to strike and in side control you want to just punch 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 
away from the strike move in rubber guard you want to kind of fake with that arm fake with that arm away from the elbow maybe even take one elbow and then fake again because you don't want to go as soon as he strikes in rubber guard because he can just still deny it probably pre deny something like that he'll be able to predict it so you want to take maybe one elbow maybe two keep faking and then transition straight after but that's going to be me for this video at least i want to bring out more videos on just transition fakes just grapple advantage in general but if you liked the video or found it useful uh, a like would be appreciated and if you're not already subscribed that'd be much appreciated also that's going to be me for now peace